We have the brand new hero skin being revealed in this video, and I am also going to be ranking my favorite hero skins of all time. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. We have your reveal of the next hero skin in this video and it is going to be for the Archer Queen. We actually brought you the Queen Walk Explained video a couple of days ago because I like to bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos. So if that's the type of content you want to see, I would recommend subscribing. If you are going to be purchasing the Gold Pass, remember you can support me before purchasing it by using code JUDO. It is much appreciated. Rocking my brand new G Fuel t-shirt today as well, guys. If you are purchasing G Fuel, you can actually use code JUDO to save yourself 10%. But let's get into the reveal of the Archer Queen skin. Now, I will be ranking all of the hero skins individually and all together because that's something you guys have heavily requested. But let's showcase the new hero skin first. In the next gold pass, we will be getting the Pirate Queen. Now, I've got to be honest, when I first seen this skin, I was pretty amazed. I, I do think it looks good, but it's not quite my favorite queen skin. However, what I did think of was sets. Will we get to see a pirate themed set? Any of you that seen last month's gold pass reveal will know that we talked about community suggestions and a pirate theme was suggested. Maybe we'll see the barbarian king with a wooden leg or a hook. I don't know. It'll be pretty cool, but let's select the pirate queen Give you a little bit of a wave there. Let's press the queen so we can see if she sounds any different. Nope, exactly the same, but she looks different. She's got her pink bandana. Let's take her out into an attack so we can see what she looks like when she's attacking and also what she sounds like. Obviously not a serious attack. We will just be deploying the Archer Queen, having a little bit of a watch and a listen to see if she is any different. But I do want to ask your advice here a little bit first. Every month, a day or so beforehand, we get to reveal the new hero skin. And I normally bring something hero skin related to that video. Last month, there was a lot of requests for ranking of hero skins, but let me know down in the comments. Is there something that you would like me to bring with next month's reveal. If there's any popular requests, I'll try and bring it. However, let's select the Archer Queen. Let's place her in and see if she sounds any different. Aha! So exactly the same in terms of the deployment, no different sound effects. The animation looks relatively the same. It does look like it is just the hero skin that is different. Sometimes obviously the hero skins come with their own little animations, sometimes even their own sounds. So when the ability goes off, exactly the same again. So for this month's hero skin, it does seem like it will just be the skin, no separate animations. Again, exactly the same with the hero going down. So for this month, it will just be the Pirate Queen skin, although she looks kind of cool holding her head with her bone arrow stuck into the ground. I personally do like it when there are a couple of little animations in there as well, but things can change from the developer build. So who knows? Maybe we will get some separate sound effects or animations, but that is your Pirate Queen skin. Now let's get into ranking each of the hero skins and see where I think this fares with the rest of the Archer Queen skins. Some of the decisions in my hero skin list were pretty easy, but others were a little bit more difficult. Let me know down in the comments your favorite king, queen, and warden skin. I'm going to give you the full list, but let me know your favorites. Now, I was going to start with the queen, but I think it makes sense to start with the king. And did you know, because I didn't, I only just found this out, you can press the little arrows to just move to the next hero. I actually didn't know that. You learn something new every day. Speaking of that, I want to let you know because this is something I've been asked quite a lot. Why can I purchase some hero skins and not others? Supercell have said they want the hero skins to be exclusive to the gold pass for around about a year, but they don't want to rule people out if they didn't play the game when that hero skin was out. So for example, last month we had the Party King for Clash of Clans' birthday. We then had the Party Warden become available as a purchase if you didn't have it already. So around about a year after the hero skin is released, you can probably purchase it for gems, but that wasn't a hard and fast rule. I just thought I'd put that in there, just in case any of you didn't know. 
However, let's begin. The Barbarian King. How many of you agree with me here? Top of the list, Pekka King. Absolutely. I think that the Pekka King is the best Barbarian King skin by far. It just looks amazing. And just, I don't know, I think it's the purple glow that really adds to it for me. However, in second place, and this is a close one, is the Skeleton King. For the main reason that I love the animation with his arm falling off and he just looks so cool. Moving down to the next one, it's got to be the Party King. Honestly, the animations often sell it for me. Obviously, the skin does look good, but it's when they're so different. Like when he's sleeping, playing the guitar, just awesome. You might be surprised, but my next favorite Barbarian King skin is the Primal skin for no other reason that I just like it better than the others. We're starting to get down the list here, and the Primal skin, this was probably my favorite Primal skin. I wasn't a huge fan of the Primal set, but I do think the King one looked pretty good. The Clockwork King would be my next down the list because, again, it's not my favorite by far, but it just looks better than the other ones, in all honesty. Then we have the Gladiator King. This was the very first hero skin released, and I've got to be honest, it was really good at the time because it was something different, but it's just not as good and out there as the other skins. It just looks like a souped up king. He has a little bit better armor, so it just doesn't add the same value for me as some of the others. And then we have the Jolly King right at the bottom of the list for me. I think it's great to rock seasonal skins, so the Jolly King is obviously good to use around Christmas, but honestly, it just doesn't look as good as the other King skins. Do you agree? I don't know. Let's move on to the Queen. So for the Archer Queen, starting off, top of the list has to be, this is the Warrior Queen. Now the thing about the Warrior Queen, this is a little bit different to what I said from the Gold Pass, because this was a separate purchase. It was for the Lunar New Year last year, and you could purchase it separately. Supercell have said, because, yep, my Royal Champion still doesn't have a skin, that we may be able to purchase a Royal Champion skin, but who knows. So the Lunar New Year Queen skin, the Warrior Queen, is my favorite by far, closely followed by the Ice Queen. Again, the animations of this hero skin are fantastic for me, and that's why it is one of the best. I've got to say, out of all of the heroes, the queen skins are by far my favorite. Maybe that's why we have the most skins for the queen, because they're just the best. People like them more. I don't know. I do think that they're pretty awesome. Moving forward, we then had the Gladiator Queen. So this was the second hero skin. It was in the Gladiator set after the king, which I wasn't that impressed with, but the queen looked amazing and it is still one of my favorite up until today because i do think it looks awesome i'm sure many of you will agree i think it's one of the best sets this is now where the pirate queen comes in because i have her fourth in the list it's very good it looks really heavy picking up the expo there or her portable expo but i just don't think it's as good as the other queen skins then closely following the pirate queen we have the Autumn Queen for me. Now, I think the Autumn Queen and the Valkyrie Queen are they are very similar. They were released at around about the same time, and they're very similar. I, I can't choose between them. I do like the Autumn Queen because it's a little bit different. Obviously, the Valkyrie is... We've got the Valkyrie. We don't have anything like the Autumn Queen, so that's the only reason that I've kind of pipped the Auto Queen, uh, Autumn Queen above the Valkyrie. Then the two skins that I honestly am not that big of a fan of, I do think that the Primal Queen and the Clockwork Queen are both kind of on par at the bottom. I don't necessarily have one that I prefer over the other. I think with all of the other Queen skins, I just wouldn't use them because I've got some better options. And I haven't included the basic skin within this list because I would always choose a skin. That's why I really want a Royal Champion skin. Moving on to the Grand Warden though, finally, this is the final part. Obviously he doesn't have as many skins. The Party Warden will always be my favorite, always. There might be ones that I think could look better, but because I played the Party Warden, I just don't think I could ever have something that would be better for me. I'm sure you guys seen it. I was the party warden. Darian was the party wizard. It was awesome. So party wiz uh, warden, top of the list. 
absolutely. Following that, the Gladiator one, and the one that we just had previously. It looks awesome. I think in combination with Electro Dragons, with that lightning bolt, it just looks awesome. And for that reason, yeah, I think it's cool. Now, the Clockwork Warden, this was my favorite Clockwork skin. I do think this and the King both looked relatively good, just because it looks kind of like a Tesla slash Grand Warden. Then we have the Primal Warden, which I have to say, honestly, is not my favorite Primal skin, but it's definitely better than the Queen one. Not quite as good as the King, but better than the Queen. How do they all fare together? So that's my list. They were the ones I would personally recommend. I'm not going to go through the entire list, but I am going to give you my top five hero skins altogether. So I made it pretty clear, but I think the Archer Queen skins are the best. So for that reason, my favorite skin is my favorite Queen skin in that of the Warrior Queen. I don't know whether it's because it was limited edition, very special, or the fact that it just looks awesome. My second favorite hero skin is actually also for the Queen in that of the Ice Queen. Honestly, this is brilliant with the animations, and this very much comes into my top five. I then move across to the Barbarian King, because I've got to say, the Queen skins obviously start going down in my preference, and the Pekka King being my favorite definitely has to bump up the list. So the Pekka King is my third favorite hero skin. That then means that the Party Warden is my fourth. Now... It's because I have that connection to the Party Warden, but actually, I don't think it's as good as the Queen skins. So that's why it comes in at number four. And my fifth hero skin, maybe the Royal Champion will add to this list when she finally gets a skin. But my fifth is the Skeleton King. Again, because I feel it has the best custom animations. When you get the Skeleton King, you get to have all of the different animations in the attack itself as well. So that is my top five. I'm sure you're letting me know down in the comments your favorite King, Queen, and Warden. And also down in the comments, be sure to let me know what you would like to see with next month's reveal. If you do want to see the Archer Queen walk video that we talked about right at the start of the video though, I'll link that one right here. That took an incredible amount of work. It was approximately 18 hours in fact to put that video together so you will enjoy it. I've got the subscribe button here as well guys, but you have a good day and I will see you in the next video.